this is Johnny with the Disc Jockey News. Today we're going to be doing a sound test between two Electro Voice speakers. We've got some 15-inch two-way cabinets here. We've got the ELX200 15-inch two-way 15P right here. And it's going to be going up against the Electro Voice, the EKX 15P. Both 15-inch two-way cabinets, both have very similar electronics in the back. There's a couple of small nuances and such. But the big thing between the two is you're talking... 2017 release. This one's just a little bit older. You've got a wood cabinet versus a plastic cabinet. And now you're going to get to hear the difference a little bit. There's going to be a better hearing the difference video, and that's one of my other videos. You can find it on the channel. This one, I'm actually going to be starting the volume, and then I'm going to be stopping it. You're not going to hear the sound because it's going to distort that microphone. So we're going to cut that music out, but we're going to be playing it here, and you're going to see exactly how loud these can get. We're going to have the same track between the two, and I'm going to take the speaker and turn it up to the point where the limiting is starting to flicker on the back. Once you get to that, we're going to get a reading out there, so you're going to be able to get an idea of how much output these have with the handy dandy little decibel reader. We're going to be doing this on the C. Uh, we're going to be making sure this with the C scale, and we're going to have it set for fast, and we're going to be set, of course, in that proper range. So it should give us a pretty accurate representation of what we're hearing. And, of course, hearing protection and when you're doing these lot of tests like this is hugely important. So, we're going to get plugged up here. Camera's still recording. <laughs> I could check that out. And let's give this first one. Okay, so we kind of peaked out on the ELX 215P at about 120 decibels. It was pretty much consistent in there. We hit 121 for a brief sec a split second, but it's between 115 on this track and 120. Now let's go to the EKX 15. Okay, well that was really loud. Even with the earplugs in, that was really loud. So what I saw is we were maxing out or we were peaking out when this was just starting to get the limiting on the back. And again, these are full range, so you're going to have, if we could roll some of that off, we would be able to get a little bit more through the upper, you know, mid and upper frequencies. But these are set for full range for this test. We were kind of hitting a 120 was like our ceiling on the, the ELX 200. The EKX, we were up in a 122, so we're kind of going from like 115 to 120. We were going from about 118 to 1. 22 somewhere in that ballpark i did see a 124 at one just time as i was moving it around but where it was kind of standing that was about equivalent 120 was my peak and 122 is my peak so we're very very equivalent but when you're talking decibels that extra two or three decibels makes a huge huge difference as as you guys have heard us talk about and such with our tuesday night with ben still so just in our quick little test the EKX definitely has more output than the ELX 200 series. I was surprised. I guess I hadn't really noticed that there was that much of a difference. But our little gauge is going to give us as accurate as we're going to get in this situation. So there you are getting our kind of SPL ratings that we just unofficially, unscientifically found here. Take it for what it's worth. This is the Electric Voice ELX 215P against the EKX 15P. This is John Young with the Disc Jockey News.